hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to go through with one of the comment that i have received on one of my previous videos so in the previous video that i'm highlighting here uh, here i have shown how we can automate command prompt cmd windows uh, let's say if we want to run or execute any command on cmd through python how do we automate that so that i have uh, done in this video so if you haven't watched this uh, please do so in this video we are going to store the result that we are going to execute through cmd right uh, like whatever automation we are doing through python so how do we store the result that is coming back from cmd line so that we are going to do now so before we do that if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do now let's see what we have to do to achieve this okay so first thing first is that we need sub process so we are going to import that then we have a method check output so this method is very good in the sense that it is going to print anything that we are actually going to execute in our command line so let me first open the command line so that i can represent or compare what we have seen here and what should we expect so let's say if I want to print Java version, so it should display these lines, right? So it should display what I have installed in my system. So this should be displayed accurately through check output. So that is what I'm going to do here. So here I'm going to just put that command and hit enter. So as you can see here, I have got three lines and first line is this one second one is this one sorry this is the third one and this is the second one and this is the first one right so this is the expectation and it has met that expectation so in the previous video i have shown an another way and this one is an an another way so these two ways are different but it totally depends on the requirement so if you want to execute something and don't want to open any kind of a shell and just store the output uh, you can do that uh, instead of printing here you can store this output in let's say some uh, some kind of a variable and do some kind of a split split to format this output right so this should suffice uh, what we got here in this comment so i hope i have answered your question shriram so if you um, if you have still any question left uh, do let me know on the comment section of this video so this is it for today i hope we will meet in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye